what we're doing today guys we're just doing a little demolition in the wood yard um if you've been following me for a while i've had to uh, pull up big boulders before to make more room in the wood yard and today is no different other than the fact that we do have a new tool in the wood yard that's going to help tremendously with this project um yesterday we split some wood got my quarter of the week done and we're like well let's see if we can tackle this rock uh with the jackhammer and we kind of went over there we were kind of just playing with it um but it started working so well that we just kept going kept going was moving a lot of rock so i don't have a picture of how big this rock was at the beginning uh because like i said we were kind of just playing with it we were planning on doing the video today um so that's why i'm in a different shirt uh this is the next day but anyways guys this rock is probably i don't know or it was probably six foot by eight foot um like that's the surface area that's just above ground um and what's crazy is this big oak that i have right next to it the uh, roots have actually went through the rock and broken up the rock so everything we moved yesterday was on the front side of the root and everything we're going to cut back today is on the back side of the root let me show you what we have uh, went ahead and pulled out and then i'll show you the jack camera that we're using today here is the area we're working in today guys i'd say it's probably actually bigger than that my six by eight is way off um i'd say it's probably six by ten maybe even eight by ten but where's rock all the way out here what we did is we took the jack hammer split it up got the tractor picked it up and moved it um everything we did yesterday so there's the big oak tree right there and there's roots that come right through here um and it actually went through the rock and broke the rock in half and that's how we were able to get the front side out because it was kind of already broken up a little bit where we could chisel away and, and separate and make small pieces um but this rock rock right here is massive my tractor would never be able to lift this up so we're hoping to cut out the middle right here with a jackhammer and pick uh, and pull the two sections out we'll see how that goes but i'll walk you over here to show you what we pulled out yesterday so this one this one this one this one that one and this one <clears throat> so i mean this one was already here this is one i did in a previous video but all these rocks came out yesterday uh we were just rolling like i said we weren't planning on uh <laughs> moving that much rock yesterday but uh y'all gonna see the video footage of that because i did get a little bit of footage of that um so that will be the first half of this video and then the second half will be us tackling this big guy right here so this is what we're working with today guys this is the vivor 220 watt jackhammer um this was sent to me to try out i was like why in the world do i ever need a jackhammer and then i stumbled upon this rock uh or rocks i should say because I've, I've known they've been there for a while um but this just made me want to tackle this uh problem that i have of uh, too many rocks in the wood yard and not enough space so what this is guys like i said it's a jackhammer this jackhammer came with four attachments came with the chisel the spade blade they're calling it another chisel and then that's more like a, a poker I don't, I don't know the terms for these guys but that is the one that uh does more damage than any of them on this rock now if you're doing concrete or something like that i think this one and this one will do well um and this one actually did well uh cutting roots guys so that's why this one's dirty um but actually what i plan to do is use a spade shovel and this chisel right here to uh get some stumps out i'm gonna try that as well but this thing came with a carrying case this thing came with everything you need to take to a job today and do it uh obviously it comes with attachments it comes with hydraulic oil in there it says to add a little bit if it's not uh up to uh the halfway on the sight glass and i added just a little bit to mine and i kind of overfilled it so i had to pull some out but uh yeah so it comes with a mask a pair of goggles gloves these are the wrenches you need to tighten the handles um, it also comes with uh, a pouring bottle so you can always have oil with you it comes with some spare parts i guess will eventually wear out um, and it comes with this carrying case this carrying case folds up and then it's got wheels on the bottom so you can actually pick this thing up and roll it also you can store it standing up so they really thought this out guys um and obviously we used this thing yesterday and it's working phenomenal um i'll show you how this thing works real quick and then we'll get back to the rocks 
All right, so here it is, guys. This thing is very simple. Um, this handle right here rotates, which I didn't think I was gonna like, uh, but I see why. Uh, you can move around, adjust it, and kind of go with the flow. Um, the bit system on this, I'm gonna call it bit system or the, the accessories. All this thing does right here, this right here is like a tab. You just turn it the other way and it slides right out. All it does is locks into this spot right here. So you stick it back in, you turn it, lock it, it's locked in. Super, super simple. Uh, the trigger system is right here. So it's got the trigger and then it's also got a autopilot, I'm gonna say. You uh, press that in and you don't have to press the trigger. You can put your hand somewhere else and keep going. So this thing is sweet, guys. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it, I really am. So uh, I wanna show you guys more of what it can do. So let's get to it. So here's how we're running this thing. We're powered by a drop cord from here to the house. Um, so it's electric, so that's how we're powering it. What seems to work best on these rocks is the kind of chisel poker. Um, the other chisels work on like concrete and stuff really thin um, that you wanna break off fast. But this right here seems to work best on the rocks. So uh, let's get to it.
heck yeah. All right, guys so this is going really great man that jackhammer is awesome guys it's breaking the little stuff up to where we can uh actually scoop it out with a bucket um this rock right here is pretty massive it goes from here all the way over to right here and it's at least two and a half feet tall and we're still digging down to get it so this is one we're definitely gonna have to chisel away at um because the tractor won't even be able to move it if I was to get, be able to get it out. All right, this is day two, guys. We gotta get rid of this big old monster. I measured it, it's right at eight feet long. And just from where it is right now, not below the ground, it's at three feet. So I would say this rock is four foot by eight or nine feet. Um, so it's gonna be massive. You can see over here, it goes down to about right there. And then I think it starts making uh making its way down and getting smaller but uh the idea we're gonna do today guys it seems to work is anytime a rock has a seam in it that is the soft spot where we can uh use the uh jack camera to break it up but if we could get this middle section broken out then i think it'd be manageable to get each one of these boulders out with the tractor so let's get started
right, we got Everett here. As you can see, the hat is in the wood yard. Uh, he brought his drill right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some holes to find some weak points and kind of make faults in the uh, rock. Uh, so he's gonna do that, and then we'll get the jackhammer back out and try to cut through this rock. So these are all the holes that he put in here. Lots of holes. Let's uh, let's blow this off and then let's see if we can do some chiseling. All right, Everett did a fantastic job on those holes. Uh, let's get the uh, Jack camera and see what we can break out. All right, guys, we decided to change the bit. This is the chisel bit. Uh, we're gonna see how this one does. guys we got our two metal poles behind this rock right here we got a tree hugger rope hooked to the tractor let's see if we can slowly pull this thing out Oh, yeah. We prepare for the bus, okay? Oh, did you choke it up? Whoa, it just kind of look how deep it is. Just, just 
too much. Oh, you got that up? Perfect. Yeah, it's super hot. <laughs> Alright guys, I got this chisel bit uh, all the way in there, and we were able to pull the other bit out. So I'm going to swap bits again. Alright, we're going to put the other bit back in. She's locked in. Let's finish her off, boys. I'm going to pull this bit up. All right, guys, we're making headway with this. We had this whole front section right here cracked. We tried to pull out the tractor and it worked. Uh, we kept getting our bits stuck. So what we decided to do is start knocking off the front bottom right here. That way we can just pull over. I think the front bottom is what's holding it in. So we're gonna see if we can knock this off real quick.
that stuck again, but that's no worries. We got more bits. Wonder if we could just take the tractor and pull it out. baby. Alright guys, we got that big, big piece out. Um, we were messing with it, messing with it, we were like, screw it, let's just see if we can pull it out. We uh, used a tree hug strap and the Coyote 3510 SE and was able to rip it out. Um, that was a big, heavy piece and I, I honestly cannot believe that we were able to get it cracked all the way through like that. It had like a 2-3 to three inch crack on it. Um, but we found more, more rocks right here, which we're not going to touch. Hopefully we can get this rock out. This rock's already out, so pull it out. And then maybe either trim off the top so we can get this level again and usable. Or if we get lucky and try to, you know, crack another one and pull all of it out. We just have to see how it goes. I mean, this is a huge rock, guys. So really, this is a job for an excavator and one of those big, big hammers that go on the ends of them. But... We got a V-Vor jackhammer and a 35 horsepower tractor and three men. So uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job. All right, guys. So this is where we're going to end the day at. We'll do another a second video for this. Uh, this was a lot of work. And honestly, at the beginning of this video, I thought maybe this wasn't possible. But uh, we're making it happen with that V-Vor uh, jackhammer and the uh, Coyote tractor. I'll show you over here what we have actually pulled out just to show you how much rock was down there it just keeps going so all this right here all the dirty stuff and then these two right here that was from another video so i mean i'll see how much rock is here that's crazy how much we were able to get out so yeah guys that was an interesting day for sure um can't believe we actually got a lot of that done, um, but we did. So the goal, guys, is to get all these rocks out of here so I can make this all flat land. Um, we're taking it one rock at a time. This next rock is going to be the biggest rock that we've dealt with yet. Um, so we'll have to do that for another day. Hope you like this video, guys. There will be another one for sure. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get rid of the whole rock or if we're just going to trim the top off so we can level it out. We'll just have to see how things go. That's all for today, guys. We'll see you next time.